I rescued an abandoned kitty that was crying outside and took him home, and this is what my cat did. Aw, Adidas. <laughs> I was having a really bad morning until this baby reached out at me and smiled. Aw, shout out to this baby for being amazing. The real anime title, please? Your name. Andrew. Told my parents I miss archaeology and my mom was very sympathetically like, do you want to dig holes in the garden? And I was like, yes, I want to dig holes in the garden. Oh, baby turtle. You got, you love to see it. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is it just filled with balloons? I, I, I love it, don't get me wrong, but just confused. Oh my dear god. This man's, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's consuming that banana, all right. You know what they say, if it fits, they sits. When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. This magic shield can block any attack. Pathetic fool, I'll crush you like a bug. Don't listen to him, I believe in you. <laughs> Aw, look at that. Look at the little, little cake, little cat with the hat. Super Dad creates beeping Easter eggs for blind children to hunt. Aw, a delicate scale. Yep, rough, bark, boof. Oh my god. Not only is this a really, really, really well shot photo, but it's adorable. The bride's father died and donated his heart. The man who received the transplant walked her down the aisle. <laughs> ah, the Easter doggos. Ah, the classic uh, cardboard box fort. Never had one like this, though. <sighs> oh man. Just looking at this picture made me yawn. Look at these social distancing champions. You'd love to see it. This little pelican, but it has a mask on. It's also staying safe. I chained him down while I went back inside to get my jacket. Came back out to see a very good boy. Kitty, please get off my chair. I need to work. Aww. <laughs> there you go. Let, let, let him have some space. Cheetah sees photographer napping under a tree and decides to join in. Holy cow. Everyone like that. Yo, this chick about to pull off some sick ass moves on that skateboard. In a small town in County Cork, Ireland, a monument stands in appreciation to the American Choctaw Indian tribe. Although impoverished shortly after being forced to walk the Trail of Tears, the tribe somehow gathered 170 bucks to spend to Ireland for famine relief in 1847. <laughs> Chonky tiger boy. I love him. My grandfather just informed me that he has a cocktail hour every day with his cat, where they each have a glass of milk at the table. Aww. <laughs> God, it, seeing animals like cuddling and hugging one another, it's just, it's so good. Aww, look at this happy little lamb. So happy, I love it. My dog's face when she saw me on the first day of quarantine. My dog's face when she sees me on day 31, the verge of mental collapse. Just talked to my mom who is 84 and has advanced dementia on the phone. She told me at the end of the conversation, I think about you when I'm not even thinking, which I thought was a pretty profound way to express how we all feel about those we love. The New Jersey Devils used hand-drawn portraits by kids to introduce the players on game day. I love my dog. If I ever cry, he collects up dirty socks and brings them to me. They're his favorite thing in the world and they make him happy, so they'll make me happy too. He's a good boy. A good boy indeed. Oh my goodness, this dog is wearing a diaper. This is, this is precious. <laughs> I've seen this. The, the news anchor with, uh, his dog sleeping in the background. That's so cute. Alabama husband saved wife's life by donating kidney after spending a year dieting and exercising to get his blood pressure low enough for surgery. A duck on top of a dog. That's it. That's the post. Oh, it's him. It's the Easter Bunny. He's coming. All right, one of these dudes is sniffing the flower, and the other... I think he's contemplating eating it. I want someone to stick around and annoy me for my entire life like this. Elephants are one of the most emotional creatures in the world. They have also been known to rescue other animals such as trapped monkeys. My cat looks like he just told his favorite joke and he's so proud of himself. Same though. I must teach you to be fierce. But mom, I are fierce. This photo is from 1955. It was called A Few Seconds Before Happiness. Aww. My daughter had her first Easter egg hunt. Ah, how times change. I freaked up a job interview so bad today and they asked me why I wanted to work at this fast food restaurant and I blinked and said that when I was little I liked their fries and wanted to be the french fry queen. I got the job. Hell yeah. Grandpa brings dog to furniture store to make sure she likes chair too happiness noise. I heard a light knock on my door and went to answer it and it was my landlord's dog bringing me a stick. Aww. Your mom is having a good hair day and is mad that she can't go out. She had to share with someone. Aw, oh, you gotta love that. Support a family. A riddle. Guess what I saw on TV and my favorite color is? Something blue. Clue two. My favorite pet. Was it Blue's Clues? You are so smart. You win an extra grandma hug. Thank you. Should I send this to blank and blank? Of course, they'll love it. Okay, good night, sweet dreams. Aw, that's so, that's so wholesome. Ollie has two settings, high alert and cozy. It doesn't take much to make a sleeping French bulldog look like a hipster Batista. <laughs> I really like this girl, but I don't know how to tell her. Just ask her to go to the movies this weekend. Do you want to go to the movies this weekend? No, I meant ask her. I just did. What did she say? I don't know, you tell me. What do you mean? 
I like you, dumbass. Do you remember Abby, the dog from I Am Legend? She is now 13 and still a good girl. Ah, yes, the art, but now in real life. How Tony became Iron Man. <laughs> That's an interesting one. I haven't seen this yet. I just passed by an 80-something-year-old woman in Nordstrom's. She was looking in the mirror and said, I used to be young and beautiful. So I said, now you're just beautiful. Her smile as she said, thank you, truly made my day. She comes here every day to give him a kiss and then leaves. Aw. <laughs> oh my god. He's being swarmed by kittens. I'm, uh... I'm a little jealous. And speaking of kittens, more kittens. We've been blessed. God, they just, they just keep on coming. I, I am perfectly fine with this. I love them so much. 89-year-old woman has knitted 450 blankets for shelter dogs, and it's adorable. It is. Single mom of three ran home-cooked meal delivery business gets car wrecked by Lambo driver. Thank God my children were not in the car, or they would have died. Lambo that wrecked single mom's car in viral accident generously replaces it with a... Uh... A uh, Mevi? Uh, I don't know how to say that, but hey, they replaced the car. That's very nice of them. I can't keep calm. Today is my last chemo. Hell yeah, surviving. Oh, look at that. Lilo and Stitch chalk art. You don't really see much chalk art these days, huh? My little brother found out I'm not his full sister, and I came home to this. I'm crying. Aww. A Toronto Loblaws was mistakenly left open on Easter Sunday, and apparently nothing was stolen. Customers even returned items to their shelves once they realized the store was actually closed. Buddy, you don't have to follow me everywhere. The lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. You stole that from Game of Thrones. Doesn't mean it's not true. I'm a rose macaron. I'm a pistachio macaron. I'm a honey almond macaron with hazelnut filling. I'm a macaroni. <laughs> macaron e party. <laughs> Whoa. Major delays. Breaking news. Oh man, that's awesome. A rainbow spreading all across NYC. Is that supposed to be the Mars rover? Don't judge me, I'm not very bright. Bright enough to make an educated guess, that's correct. Don't be so hard on yourself, we're all learning new things every day. Michael Shea paying one month's rent for 160 apartments in NYC. To lose a grandparent and to turn around and give to others when everything is unpredictable is the epitome of an everyday hero. This is Miller, a good boy who lost some pounds. He just wanted to post his transformation pic to inspire you. Thank you, Miller. Aw, the Earth has a moon now. Very nice. Look at that. Mother and son bonding no matter the species. I need more beer. Got more beer. And she's happy. Weatherman's needy cat interrupts broadcast as he works from home. I mean, look, they need love no matter the time. <laughs> this dog goes reading, but uh, what they reading though? After an 80-year-old man in England moved into a retirement home, his 98-year-old mother moved into the same home so she could help take care of him. She said, you never stop being a mom. Aww. Live every day like your 2001 Nicole Kidman leaving your Lars office after divorcing Tom Cruise. For the first time ever, Chicago Animal Care and Control has run out of adoptable dogs. The face you make when you thought your fart would be silent. <laughs> yeah, 10-piece McNugget meal. <laughs> Aww, look at, look at these cats. Look at them, just chilling, just vibing. Oh, more kittens. I, I look, they never get old. They never get old. I, I just, I, I love them too much. Me having a bad day. Old napkin he found under the couch. My cat. My family dog died years ago, and my dad still hasn't gotten over it. So our neighbor painted this to cheer him up. Look at these painted rocks. That's nice. I like these a lot. <laughs> Pandas, look at them. Oh my god, they're so chunky, I love them. Party hat for a party girl. Until now, I never understood why you got so excited when someone walked past the house. Yeah. My pencil drawing growth, 2014 to 2020. Damn, that's good. Handsome doggo thinks the photo shoot is for him. I mean, who says it can't be for all of them? This picture made me smile. And it made me smile too. This is the best poem I've ever read, hands down. This is what poetry is about for me personally. Long ago there was a cat who swallowed a ball of yarn, and when the cat had kittens, they all had sweaters on. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said my postdoc advisor Blink is the best. Here he is reading stories over Zoom to the kids of people in the lab so we can get a little extra time to ourselves. Aw, aw, look at that post-it note pixel art. I love this so much. My mommy, who I love very much, small me. Me when I grow big and strong so I can protect mommy. Proud mommy. Happy Thanksgiving. Let's say what we're most thankful for. Turkey. I was gonna say you. And you. The provider of turkey. <laughs> reading on the train. How about that? You never really see people just reading books out and about these days. A pizza is basically a real-time pie chart of how much pizza is left. Oh my god. Happy birthday. I hope I didn't mess up the date. I can't believe you actually remembered. Thank you. Just remember that after the plague came the renaissance. <laughs> Rapunzel. I love that. That's so good. What's the matter, doggo? You, you, you licking your owner, but the owner can't lick you? <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. I, I want to know the inspiration behind the original piece of art, but uh, 
What a great recreation. Walking my sister down the aisle was one of the most special moments of my life. Bindi, you're the most amazing sister and friend, always there for me through it all, and I couldn't be happier you found Chandler. And Chandler, I'm so happy to welcome you into our family as my brother. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my god, I'm... I, 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 my cheeks hurt from smiling. Thanks for the delivery. Have a shroop buck. <laughs> Look at these little ceramic seals. This dog is walking herself up and down the train so everyone can stroke her. Want something to be happy about? Muppets have been delivered to Puppeteer's home so Sesame Street can tape new episodes. This kid is genius. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. Triss, I like to sit on shoulders. Six weeks old. <laughs> Why is this why is this so amusing to me? Just just a little chonky bird just sitting there. <laughs> Lamborghini. What a good Lamborghini. Whoa. Hold on. They they opened up their ketchup packet and it's smiling. If you're having a bad day, here's a smiling alpaca. <laughs> There's a, there's a smile off the reflection. How about that? We're getting a lot of a lot of smiling posts. Look at this little smiling baby. Aw, oh, look at these little rats. Look at them, just chilling. Little chonky boys. Look at that. Even soldiers have a soft spot for cats. You, you just can't help it. When I go to someone's house and they have a cat, ps, 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 I love you. <laughs> Come here, baby. He looks so proud in his little bow tie. Hi, world. My name is Spike. Hello, Spike. Aw, oh, look at that little squirrel nest. Stay safe, humans. Thank you, doggo. Staying positive doesn't mean you have to be happy all the time. It means that even on hard days, you know that there are better ones coming. When your day working from home starts out completely crappy, but your beautiful wife is there to help rescue you with something as simple as sticking a piece of paper to your laptop when you're not looking. Aw, I'm stockpiling food. It's for my dog. <laughs> That's better. In a lockdown city, someone tied a bag of food and water to a pole for stray dogs. Look at that. Stretchy boy in the sun. Look at that. Another adorable animal in the sun. Just, just chillin'. This is Sushi. She knows it's been a long day, offering to split her pancake with you. 4 10 out of 10. Thank you, Sushi. That's very kind. Swan embraces Vet who saved his life. Aww. Oh my god. This... <laughs> she's cutting a cake with a sword. That's awesome. I love it. After not seeing my dog for five months, I Skyped him last night. My mom sent me this after we disconnected. Oh, he fell asleep on the computer just like a human would. That is so sweet. Presenting eight reasons why I want a hamster. I'm sure this kid has like a thousand reasons, but he has to make it seem like it's concise. Smart move. Well, would you look at that? A whole pile of gummy hamburgers. When I was a kid, this is what I lived for. This was my life. This is where I wanted to be. I did it! I won, Mom! I won against Andrew! That's great, sweetie. Dad, I won! Did he really win or did you let him win? Does it really matter? Aw, oh, that's such a good big brother. Oh my goodness, would you look at this? Somebody set out this whole table, the candles, the flowers, everything is just so beautiful. This is really heartwarming. Well, it's a picture of a baby goat, a baby goat, oh, a baby goat. You've heard of two peas in a pod. But have you ever heard of two cats and a banana? Well, you have now, and it's adorable. I met my best friend on GTA, and we recently met in real life. Rockstar featured our story on their website. I don't know what's more incredible, the fact that they actually met, or the fact that they look like their characters. Nobody ever looks like their characters. This is the biggest toilet I've ever seen. Well, like my dad told me, one man's trash is another man's litter box. My dad was weird. You know what's weird? Day by day, nothing seems to change, but pretty soon, everything's different. Bill Watterson. Aw, that's wholesome. Oh, hey, dude, I'm going bird running. Do you mean bird watching? No, no, bird running. You wouldn't get it. Aw, look, it's a little baby cat. I want one. Actually, I'll take 10. Bob Ross used to receive up to 200 letters from fans per day. When regular letter writers fell out of touch, he would phone them just to see if they were okay. This man is incredible. Like, how could you not love him? In Iraq, in the book market, books remain in the streets at night because Iraqis say, the reader does not steal and the thief does not read. Hey, you learn something new every day. Just three breathtaking people looking at each other. And look, the third person is you. As the cat hunts down its prey, we understand that- uh, Oh, they're cuddling. Aw, that's so cute. I present to you, Chonky Cat Kankles. And yes, they are super adorable. Dear Nana and Pop Pop, thank you so much for a beautiful angel ornament. It's like nothing we've ever had. I love the fuzzy poodle sweater. It's very huggable. The $10 are going into my bank account to save for a car. The scrapbooking supplies are awesome. I use them for the front of this card. Thank you for everything. And look, she has her car. This is so sweet. Uh, excuse me, I think you left your cat outside. You know, people say raccoons are thieves, but 
This guy is all right. Today I learned that a cat co-authored a physics paper. In 1975, a physicist had just finished writing a paper and was ready to publish but realized he had used we instead of I throughout, despite being the sole author. Not wanting to edit the paper, he listed his cat, Chester, as a co-author. This is the cat, by the way. So they went from playing medicine to working in medicine. Hats off to this person and hats off to everybody who's on the front lines of this pandemic. My wife took me on a date to the movies. It was stupid cute and very expensive. Aw, and it's like a fake movie theater. This is so sweet. Guys, love is what matters. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise. So I work with a guy from Mexico who doesn't speak a lot of English. A Canadian goose made a nest by one of the paddock gates and hissed at him while he was putting horses out. He comes back to us after and says, I do not like the cobra chickens. You know what? I don't like the cobra chickens either. I adore my coffee guy. I always get a large coffee and at first I'd walk in and he'd be like, large coffee, right? But now he just does finger guns at me and goes, large! And I'd be lying if I said that wasn't the best part of my day. My apartment complex has a community pantry where residents drop things off that they don't need for people who may need it. Check this out. You see, this is people helping people. You gotta love it. Creamy is concerned that you might not have loved yourself enough today. I'll do it for you, Creamy. <laughs> I'll do it for you. Aw, and we bear bears. One of the bears is crying and this little kid's trying to wipe its tears away. This kid's so compassionate. What girls think. Ew, boys just want nudes and naughty time. What we actually want, just to be held. Everybody likes to cuddle. So the kids presented us with a written declaration of war. Now I can't read it that well, but I think it says, We would like to have more power in this house. For example, we want to control our bedtime, how long our walks are, and when we get to watch TV. If you do not sign, we will declare war on the parents. Sign here. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd sign that. You don't want to ever put baby in a corner. This dog looks like Bob Ross. <gasps> what if it is Bob Ross? Oh, I would love that dog. People would be like, oh, my dog is house trained. I'd be like, yeah, my dog is Bob Ross. This nine-year-old boy who kept getting in trouble for doodling in class gets a job decorating a restaurant with his drawings. You see, there is talent in anything, even if people find it disruptive. Follow your dreams, guys. The patient is cold and unresponsive. We need to administer 30 cc's of dopamine stat. Mwah! Now, if that doesn't make somebody happy, nothing will. This bike may look odd to some, but this man built it so that his blind brother can feel the wind like he does. Now, that's quite a brother. I have to agree, this is just incredible. How to train your dog to drive. All right, you're gonna wanna stop at the red light. What's a red light? I'm colorblind. So this duck is actually missing one of its foot and through 3D printing and designing, this person actually replaced it and now the duck can live as happy as it wants to. That is so awesome. Hey team, today is gonna be gorgeous out. My assignment for you today is to get outside, do something active, observe nature, feel the sun, etc. I will push all the due dates back a day. All right, I just wanna say hats off to the people who do this, the leaders, the teachers, you guys are great. Well, 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 what do we have here? A group of seven puppies and two lovely doggos. Don't they make a lovely family? I sure think so. Aw, he looks like a beach ball that's been thrown into a pool of razor blades. Or like an acapella student who's tone deaf. Get it? Cause he's flat. All right, moving on. I just found out that my husband fills the dog's water dish, not from the tap, but from the fridge water purifier feature. She'd do the same for me, he said. Now that's man's best friend right there. My mom is quarantining alone, and to make it less unbearable, she sets little timers for herself to do random enjoyable things throughout her day. She calls them fun bombs. What a creative way to get through the day. We hope you and your family are doing well and staying healthy. We just want you to know that we are thinking of you. Here is a small gift for you during this time of quarantine. We can't wait to see you again. Happy reading. Oh, don't we all miss the Scholastic Book Fair? I know I do. How me and my grandma text. Oh my gosh, Viring, you are so cute. Send a selfie. <laughs> oh my gosh, babe. Yas, girl, you shining. You look so nice. Look at them brows. If my grandchildren don't hype me up like this, then I don't want to have grandchildren. 60 years later, my great grandmother tried on her wedding dress and it still fits perfectly. And she still looks just as beautiful. He's never seen himself in a mirror, so I tell him how handsome he is at least 20 times a day. And you do not lie, he is a cutie. Here we have a baby animal who is just soaking in life, just enjoying what life has to offer. Don't forget to close all the tabs in your head too. Don't get it twisted, these are words to live by. In school they called me chicken head. Now who's laughing? Himalayan marmots come for their regular feed by a caring lady. This is a blessed image. A German circus is using holograms instead of live animals for a cruelty-free magical experience. And it's awesome. Are you kidding me? That looks insane. I gotta get tickets for this. Ooh, look at this. The four horsemen of wholesomeness. Life, peace, nature, and self-love. 
They couldn't have made a better representation for these, like, mwah, beautiful. Aw, look at that, she's making her own little rainbow. Oh, you know, just sprinkling a little magic into her day, just a little bit. Well, he's the man's best friend. And he'll be here till the very end. Aw, look at him, he's in his little wagon with his stuffed animal friends. Let him be. My Japanese cat loves to sit near my rice cooker and smell the steam of freshly cooked rice. Oh, he's so tiny. Don't you just want to pick him up and hug him and never let go? Our principal told these two boys that their jeans were so nice, so they went back to the mall and got him a pair too. This guy's putting the pal in principal. Or principal. I don't know, English is hard. It's stupid when people feel keeping it real means hustling in the streets until you die or go to prison. Screw that part. Exactly, everybody deserves a happy ending. As a kid, I spent hours breeding Lapras and releasing them because the Pokédex said they were almost extinct. That's actually adorable. I would like to bring up the fact that as of Sun and Moon, Lapras are no longer endangered. This kid single-handedly saved the Lapras species. I tip my hat off to you, sir. My last chemo, infusion complete. Congratulations, the worst is behind you. After watching customers pay money to buy cookies from a store, a dog in Columbia started bringing a leaf in his mouth and presenting it to the store attendant. The staff decided to play along, and now the dog comes to buy cookies every day. I love how he doesn't get what money is, but he's like, hey, take this, and I can get a cookie, right? Alright, I got my laptop, I got my shirt, my charger, and my little fluffy babies. Alright, let's go to Florida. Our maid quit because she used her earnings to educate her daughters, and two of them have now graduated and have jobs, so our maid doesn't need to work anymore. This post right here is pure smile essence. At a half marathon in Alabama, a dog wandered onto the race start after her owner let her out to relieve herself. She followed the runners after the starting shot and finished seventh. The race organizers gave her a medal. Seventh place? Whoa, that is insane. That is just insane. This is Margot. She's a cat for my shelter and she's got a tiny ear. Oh my goodness, she does have a tiny ear. I didn't even notice that. Oh wow. Once a little boy sent me a charming card with a little drawing on it. I loved it. I sent him a card and I drew a picture of a wild thing on it. I wrote, Dear Jim, I loved your card. Then I got a letter back from his mother and she said, Jim loved your card so much he ate it. That to me was one of the highest compliments I had ever received. He didn't care that it was an original Maurice Sendak painting or anything. He saw it. He loved it. He ate it. Words to live by. This is Moose. He just confirmed that pupils can dilate because of love. Sneaky tongue slip as well. 14 out of 10 would give the world to. He looks like a baby Scooby-Doo. My name is Ned, now I'm a bed, and if I roughs, I scare the fluffs. I cannot move, I just play dead. My name is Ned, and I'm a bed. When you really need to pee, but your dog is just too comfortable. It's the sacrifice for the greater good. My little cousin won best costume at school today. Oh, I remember this guy. Excuse me, sir. I need my elderly assistance badge. Oh, look at what we got here. A cute little pupper being introduced to the mother dog. Oh, it's their first little family reunion. Dad started putting in a new toilet, walked away for a few minutes, and came back to this. Excuse me, sir, what do you think you're looking at? Yay, a new toy! Oh my gosh, it squeaks! I love squeaky toys so much! I must destroy it! The brain is a beautiful enigma. My ex and I split up two years ago, and he still sends our dog Apollo a birthday card and a gift card to Petco on his birthday. Hashtag no bad blood. Hey, he might have broken up with you, but he never broke up with that dog. I tried to take some photos of an octopus, but he grabbed the camera and took some photos of me instead. Smile for the camera. Hey bro, do you still have that owl for sale? Owl? What owl? Huh, I guess it was a dream, lol. Okay. You know what, no, don't discriminate. We all have dreams like this, or at least I like to assume we all have dreams like this. Oh my, look at these two best friends. They went from pups to grown-ups. Oh, this is so sweet. So here we have a group of penguins. <laughs> Parrots, they are parrots, not penguins. Oh, we gotta go to the next meme. Landlord tells restaurant owners, pay employees instead of rent. Oh, that's nice. Dogs are a stupid lot. Oh, I don't think so. I think dogs are pretty smart. I think we're lucky to have dogs with us. I think having dogs around us has made this a better world. Oh, and he gives them a hug. Philly was hit by a car and left on the sidewalk for five hours until LA police officers found him, rescued him, refused to let him get put down, and adopted him as a member of their own family. Don't you just love a happy ending? Just delivered pizza to an elementary school and all the kids started a pizza chant as I walked in and put it on the table. I was giving out high fives on the way out. I felt like the freaking man. You know what? When you got a bunch of pizzas in your hand, you are the man. Because we all need it, here's what happens when your cat touches a plasma ball. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. He's gonna hop on top of crime. He's the fluffy bunny. 
<laughs> in all seriousness, this is really cute. Okay, someone dressed a Pomeranian dog up as Paddington Bear, and now the world seems like a slightly better place to be in than it did yesterday. And it is just so cute! Ah, I can't take it. I can't take it. My father-in-law was a preacher for 40 years, always had to work hard to make ends meet. He has never had a fancy steak. So for his 68th birthday, I made him a 2.5 pound tomahawk. Oh my goodness, he is eating good tonight. Oh, it's a celebration. I wonder what they got him. I bet it's a squeaky toy. Princess Diana broke the royal rules for her son, William, by taking part in the Mother's Day running race at her son's school. She won, by the way. I mean, who's not gonna let the princess win? Finally got my prosthetics in. And they look so cool. Like, bro, don't play Bloody Knuckles with this guy. Don't play it. It's not worth it. <laughs> if you have a small PP, pee -pee, smile. If you have a big one, put a coin in. This guy deserves a PhD in marketing. No, this is perfect. It's so clever. They were placed into this world picture perfect. I want to give this thing all my money. There was some racist rubbish here, but I covered it up with a picture of a cat. Good on you. I want my rats to grow up with positive role models, so we watch Ratatouille together. Gravy was really into it. You see, anybody can cook, even a rat. Eight-year-old with rare skin condition finds new best friend, a dog with the same condition. <laughs> my heart, did you hear that? It just exploded. And who said grandma wasn't cool? Grandma's cooler than Antarctica. All right, I am convinced that this is the most fluffiest, softest animal the world has ever seen. Prove me wrong. Every now and then, you gotta stop and smell the roses and the frog. He's always watching. I think I love that dog. Do anything for that dog. Oh. Son has a scar from cancer surgery. Dad tattoos his son's scar on his own head to show him that he has nothing to be ashamed of. Ah, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Don't worry, it's paid for. Cashier pays for senior customer who doesn't have enough money to pay for groceries and was about to return items to the shelves. And you know, I bet that's coming out of her own pocket. That is so compassionate. This is Dory. He got tired of walking up the hill, but that's okay because he brought his wagon. Then he ate a dandelion. 14 out of 10 overall, a lovely evening. That dog has earned his wagon ride. The sun is out, the sky is blue. It's beautiful and so are you. My grandpa never got his high school diploma because he was drafted into World War II his senior year. He finally got it today. Well, first off, thank you for your service. And second off, congratulations on graduating. Did you know you can't breathe when you smile? Ah, just kidding. I just wanted to make you smile. And it worked. Okay, are, are all pet owners photographers? Because these dogs are the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. You know, a lot of people think that it's their fur that keeps them warm in the snow. Well, actually, it's the warmth that they share when they're together. I'm not sure if that's true, but it's a nice thought. Hey, my boy Eminem, clean dozen in the books. I'm not afraid. And that's in reference to his 12 years of sobriety. Congratulations and keep it up. Street singer was ignored by everyone. Then four kittens came, <laughs> came to show their support. We want a song about catnip. Sing about yarn. All right, I'm sold. All dog owners are photographers. You can't convince me otherwise. My mind is made up. All right, my mind was made up until I saw this picture. So, okay, okay, so I'm gonna change what I said. All dog and cat owners are photographers. My mind is made up, I'm locked in 100%. Okay, changing my mind one last time. All dog, cat, do you know what? All pet owners are photographers. I'm locked in. Uh, you made me look stupid, but I'm still smiling. Oh, this is that meme where the dog is sitting and there's fire everywhere and he's like, this is fine, but they reversed it. So the fire sitting down, that's cheeky. I like this one this meteor you know he looks like he came from another planet like you've heard of good boys but have you heard of superboy one sorry three generations i hope i have a daughter to continue this you mean to tell me that's the same article of clothing it looks great simple fact i'm terrified of my toddler discovering public parks don't randomly close tvs don't run out of batteries there is no actual world record for the fastest at putting toys away and chicken the animals and chicken the food are one and the same you must use all of your effort to ensure that he never learns the truth i'm talking into his 30s in turkey a man named barak soylu has been going around dressed like spider-man he drives around in a beetle buys milk and groceries for the elderly and delivers it to their doorsteps when he was asked why, he said, my superpower is doing good for the neighborhood. Thank you, you're an absolute hero. So this man I work with is a single dad with a 15 year old daughter who's recently turned vegan. And every time I see him, he asks me what I'm having for lunch that day and writes it down for her if he thinks it's something she'd like. My heart. You know what, my heart too. That is so sweet to have a supportive father. Four year old me, watch me grampy. Four year old me, does nothing, grampy. I'm so proud of you, son. <gasps> Did you fall in the water? Yep, that's water. Don't worry, I'll call for help. Help!
You know, he really does think he's helping. Good for him. Yesterday, I stopped to pet a dog, and as the owner walked away, I heard him say to her, You see, everybody loves you, and you don't even love yourself. And I'm going to be thinking about that for the next five years. Well, hold up. How does she know that the dog doesn't love herself? I call baloney. She's defeated all the villains, and that's why she is the one, the only, Wonder Woman. Patrons, keep social distance guidelines, or Draper City will need to close this park. To the dogs, woof, 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 woof. You know, I actually speak dog, and that was spot on the message that they needed to hear. My dad telling me the same story for the 1,000th time. Me pretending that I'm hearing it for the first time because I love him. Aw, that's cute. Two baby cats. Two baby cats and they're so freaking cute. So freaking cute. Elderly YouTuber writes his subscribers down in a notebook and then thanks them individually. Everyone like that. How's it going everyone and welcome back to Easy Peasy. My name is Zach and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash made me smile. Oh, look at that. Doing tea time with the girls. I, I love it. This is, this is wholesome. He looks great in that hat by the way. Due to virus we decided to just go to the courthouse today instead of stressing about the wedding we've been planning for months couldn't be happier i've been in love with this woman since i was four years old wow that's impressive congrats couple marry again after husband with dementia proposes to wife he thought was his girlfriend oh my cat always covers his private parts when sleeping on his back because he is a decent upstanding member of society 2400 lucky people got to hear john williams conduct a program of his music on wednesday night one who didn't was a security guard stationed in the stairwell leading to the musician's locker rooms seth lowe gave her a mini concert of Star Wars themes, much to her light. Aww. Missing dog. I miss my dog. She's not gone or anything, just at home, and I'm here at work. Enjoy the picture of her. <laughs> I will. I just saw a dad get out of the car with his two young boys, and he yells, who can go hug mom the fastest? And all of them start running towards their house. That's the kind of future I want. You're not even watching the movie, me. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. Today I messed up by buying a bottle of wine at the movies. Went to fancy movie theater with date, decided to buy a bottle of wine. Go back to bar, ask for two glasses. Bartender says he needs two IDs. I'm too lazy to go back to seats to grab Date's ID. I tell him I'm alone and was embarrassed to ask for just one glass. He is clearly sympathetic. Idiot me then tries to sell the story and continue on about how lonely I've been recently. He tells me he's off in a few minutes and insists on watching the movie with me. I try to fight it, but I can only argue so much without giving away the truth. Bartender is insistent. I text my date what's happening, go back to the theater with my new date, sit a few rows in front of my first date. She has the stupidest grin on her face as me and the bartender, Jared, sit a couple rows in front of her. He ends up being super cool and bought him and me another bottle during the movie. Movie ends. I thank him for his gesture. He didn't even ask her my number or anything. I think Jared was just a genuine guy trying to comfort someone. Met back up with my date in the parking lot and thankfully she found the whole thing hilarious. I don't deserve Jared. Katherine Johnson, NASA legend, 1918 to 2020. Rest in peace indeed. Married people of Reddit, what did you only start doing in your relationship after you got married? Everything. I married my husband who was in the Navy at 18 and he immediately moved me across the country and then got deployed, leaving still teenage me alone in a strange place trying to take care of our home alone. My sweet elderly neighbor who had been really lonely because her son didn't visit often came over the first week with some flowers from her garden. I was so touched, I started crying. And she said, honey, what's wrong? I was like, how do you write a check to pay bills? She helped me. We became really good friends. I'll never forget her. Oh man. A bar in my neighborhood is delivering entire liters of their premix margaritas for $25 and you can get a complimentary roll of toilet paper with your purchase and it's really starting to feel like there are no rules anymore. So I found this caterpillar on my way to class. We're bros. I named him Chicken Nugget. Ah, he's turning a duller color. I hope he's alright. So apparently Chicken Nugget is a spice bush swallowtail and they turn yellow before they pupate. He was making little silk things everywhere. Bruh, this caterpie's gonna evolve into a metapod today. My boys are messing around. He's been chilling like this for a couple days. He's been in cocoon for 10 days now. Chicken nugget is a chicken wing. Now, baby, we have liftoff. Yeah. Nice. Found my clone selling nuts in Istanbul. We couldn't communicate, but the whole market was cry laughing. <laughs> there is no day that can't be improved by seeing pictures of how they weigh an owl. That is amazing. An old Italian gentleman lived alone in New Jersey. He wanted to plant his annual tomato garden, but it was very difficult work as the ground was hard. His only son, Vincent, who used to help him, was in prison. The old man wrote a letter to his son and described his predicament. Dear Vincent, I am feeling pretty sad because it looks like I won't be able to plant my tomato garden this year. I'm just getting too old to be digging up garden plot. I know if you were here, my troubles would be over. I know you'd be happy to dig the plot for me, like in the old days. Love, Papa. A few days later, he received a letter from his son. Dear Papa, don't dig up that garden. That's where the bodies are buried. Love, Vinny. At 4 a.m. the next morning, FBI agents and local police arrived and dug up the entire area without finding any bodies. They apologized to the old man and left. The 
The same day, the old man received another letter from his son. Dear Papa, go ahead and plant the tomatoes now. That's the best I could do under the circumstances. Love you, Vinny. Oh, man. That has to be one of the most gorgeous creatures God has ever made. And I'd just like to take him home and just, just keep him as a pet. But that's not what he's meant to be. He's meant to be free, free. I love Bob Ross so much. When one act of kindness creates a lifelong friendship, I fixed a pigeon's wing so he went to fetch his girlfriend and now they live at my house. Oh. Ten years ago, I said one day. Yesterday, I said day one. That is incredible. I love that. I saw this. Oh, it's so good. A police officer spent his lunch break sharing pizza with a homeless woman and it was captured in a heartwarming photo. Oh. Today at the airport, one of the drug dogs set off a false alarm and officers rushed over to find out the dog had alerted them for a piece of pizza. The handler just patted his head and goes, it's okay, buddy. I know pizza always confuses you. He gave him his treat anyways. Oh. My little sister tells our puppy to play teacher with her all the time and he actually sits and listens to her talk and draw on the whiteboard. It is clear in the lease. No pets are allowed in the apartment. Sorry. Okay, I will make an exception because he looks very polite. Oh. This sweet little boy has been having a hard time since his pop passed away. He's been praying for a little stuffy of pop that he can carry around with him. He chose this photo and also requested that pop would be holding a fish. I love what I do and love that it matters. Very good. Five years ago, I lived in an apartment and said hello to this one man almost every day last week. I ran into him and he said, I have something for you, and dug through his bag. It was a postcard that someone had sent me after I had moved. He held onto it for five years. Met this sweet man at Outback. He saw us at prom and showed us a picture of him and his wife at prom in 1949. Wow. <laughs> Aw, they can't help but look at the little puppy. I, well, I couldn't be able to help myself. My parents told my little sister she couldn't dye her hair unless she found someone to do it with her. So guess who has purple hair now? <laughs> Amazing. Since our doors are temporarily closed to the public, we let our rats explore the California Science Center. Under staff supervision, of course. My grandpa called me in the middle of my shift at work today and he goes, I know you're working, but this is important. Do you want to go to Red Lobster with me on Saturday? That's amazing. I would, I would go. From 75 in 1905 to 3,600 in 2020, India's rhino population has increased by 35 times in 115 years. Excellent. While putting your favorite condiment on a sandwich, you accidentally make a magical occult symbol and summon a demon. You silently take two more slices of bread out of the package and make another sandwich. You put it on a plate with a handful of potato chips and hand it to the demon. He takes the sandwich, smiles, and vanishes in a puff of demonic smoke. The next day, you get that job promotion you're after. There was no contract. No word spoken. You owe nothing. But every now and then, another demon pops in for lunch. Demons don't often get homemade sandwiches. <laughs> Just a reminder that your parents don't determine what you become. My dad has been a meth addict my entire life. Growing up, I always felt like that would confine me with what I would be able to make of myself. Recently, I was accepted into my top choice medical school. Hell yeah. I know this is pandering, but I've been depressed for months and haven't hit the gym during that time. Mr. Schwarzenegger, can you please tell me to get off my lazy ass and hit the gym? I swear to everything I hold dear that I will snap out of it and go. I'm not going to be that hard on you. Please don't be that hard on yourself. We all go through challenges. We all go through failure. Sometimes life is just a workout. But the key thing is you get up. Just move a little. Roll out of bed and do some push-ups or go for a walk. Just do something. One step at a time. I hope you feel better and get back to the gym. But don't beat yourself up because that's just useless talk. It doesn't get you closer to the gym. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Good luck. Thanks, Arnold. Asaya and Jawa Javid, I'm sorry if I got those names wrong, owners of a small shop in Scotland spent 2,000 pounds on mask and alcohol gel and are giving them away free to older people. Found two kitties cuddling by the sea. This is more romantic than anything I've ever done in my life. Adorable. It was just like your favorite person day at five-year-old Easton school today. Easton wanted to go as a school security offer Jeffrey because he says he keeps me safe. So his mom made him a shirt and surprised Jeffrey at school. Best buds for sure. This is wholesome AF. Some things never change. <laughs> oh. Single dad adopts teen abandoned at the hospital. I knew I had to take him. Families don't have to match. It's true. It's true. Kenya installs the first solar plant that transforms ocean water into drinking water. That is good. Dad, today is your birthday. I had an extra strong cup of tea just how you liked it. I hugged mom for you and told her how much we love her. Robert and I went on a hike through the mountains you cherished. I watched one of your documentaries with Chandler and shared stories about you. I walked through your office in the zoo and smiled at your own family photographs. Today and every day I miss you and love you beyond description. You're always with me. Oh, Bindi Irwin. I'm, oh, I'm alright. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they're so happy. I mean, they're, they're surrounded by sunflowers. I, 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 I would be happy myself. Ever since my daughter found out our plant Serena wasn't getting enough sunlight, she insists on taking her out for walks while holding her up to the sun. Aw. I'm at Petco and they found a kitten in the storm and put her in a little sweater. Oh, man. Reason 628,293, I love my mom. When we were wee little elementary school kids, my sisters and I loved the Tamagotchi games, but the Tamagotchi required consistent attention, right? And we couldn't play them during school, so my mom would bring it to work with her and she'd do 
all of her accounting, banking stuff, while also feeding two Tamagotchi pets. This small, serious Asian lady playing Tamagotchi for her daughters. I love her so much. I'm glad people enjoyed this post. I sure do. How is everyone making these? With an app called Photofunia. Thanks, man. I appreciate this. <laughs> a man who had a few too many alcoholic beverages ordered an Uber for a baby goldfish that he found struggling on the ground. The baby bird was the sole passenger on the ride to a wildlife rehab. I actually have a habit of upvoting a lot just in case it may make someone happy. So one day I was upvoting a guy to whom I was disagreeing and he was downvoting me every time I replied to him. He realized that he was getting upvoted instantly on every reply and he asked, are you upvoting me? I replied, hmm, yep, your comments are polite and well put, even though I disagree. It's a bad habit to downvote just because I have a different opinion. That guy DM'd me and we are friends to this day. He even upvoted all those comments in that thread which he had downvoted. So you see guys, a little upvote actually makes a huge difference. Spread love. Wholesome. No dogs were at the dog park this morning. My good boy waited patiently for his friends to arrive. Aw. Walrus becomes embarrassed when receiving a cake made of fish for its birthday. <laughs> Look, I I am bad at accepting things too. <laughs> I love this. He doesn't want to wash it off. Come on. I mean, come on. I was lonely until I glued a cup of coffee onto my car. Now everybody waves at me. <laughs> the World Health Organization has announced that dogs cannot contract co 19. Dogs previously held in quarantine can now be released. To be clear, who let the dogs out? Ah, I see what you did there. So I worked at a library and about a month ago I helped a little old woman who is legally blind figure out how to listen to her audiobooks on her tablet. We got to chatting and I mentioned that I always listen to audiobooks while I knit, which made her very excited and she told me about all the afghans she used to make when she could still see. She was so sweet and I was so glad to be able to help her figure out a way to still enjoy books without being able to read. Yesterday I answered the phone at work and when I said my name, the woman on the other line got so excited and said, Madeline? You're exactly who I wanted to talk to. This is Mary Brandon and you helped me about a month ago. How late are you working today? It was her. About an hour later she and her husband showed up and she was carrying a huge stack of old knitting patterns for me. And her husband brought in a few boxes full of yarn. They couldn't stay long but I was so touched that she remembered me and I struggled to not just flat out start crying when she handed me the patterns. When I looked through them later I realized it was her entire personal collection from over the years, including all her personal notes and drawings and even some photographs of her finished pieces. No one in my family knits and to have someone pass on their legacy to me like that was incredibly moving. This isn't what I usually post here but with life being especially darkly Lately, I wanted to share a moment of happiness and a reminder that a bit of kindness goes a long way. A co-worker just texted me that Mary brought in even more yarn for me today. I'm going to be crying into my knitting until the day I die. After seven years of addiction, I finally recovered, and I'm so glad you did. This furry miracle is adopted. This was her reaction to the first toy in her life. Oh my god, I got a toy! Little boy invites his entire kindergarten class to witness his adoption. Okay, this dude right here is just a sweetheart, and I'm glad he's being adopted out of a crappy home. That's just great. Gonna tell y'all what I can hear now that I got my hearing aids. Birds, they chirp, and it's beautiful. Far away cow moos. My friend has this in his backyard, and to say I cried is an understatement. My best friend's singing voice. Chickens, chicken noises, me, sobbing. The filter for my fish tank, bubble, bubble, bubble. Ah, oh, my god. Imagine what it's like to hear for the first time again. What? What was he doing here seven years ago, though? I joined for an AMA about a movie. Then I did another AMA about fitness and one where I screamed movie lines you guys requested. By the point, I loved the conversation and humor here and people kept tagging me, so I never left. Ah, oh, God, Governor Schwarzenegger. I just saw he gave, uh... He just uh, got the pipe someone made for him, and that made my day seeing that. Got to take my baby sister to her first daddy-daughter dance the other night. Sorry you don't have a dad, but I'll always be there for you. Damn, you had to hit me right in the feels, and my god, look at the smile on his face. It's just pure joy. Unbelievable. In 1969, when black citizens were still not allowed to swim in community pools alongside white people, Mr. Rogers invited a black police officer on the show and asked him to join in and cool his feet in a small plastic pool, breaking a well-known color barrier. Damn, Mr. Rogers, why you always gotta hit me in the feels, my dude? After a two-year battle, I finally beat cancer. Thanks for all the support through all these hard times. It feels good to smile again. Damn, dude, keep smiling because your smile brings joy to the whole world. My six-year-old daughter, she see what's on the news and we explained what happened to George Floyd and she was mortified. Today, she made a sign and is doing her own peaceful protest in our front yard. I am so proud. So am I. So am I. The best boy. Oh, you're getting married? Yay, new daddy. <laughs> Look at how happy the dog is. I'd really like to hear the reasoning behind women who won't take their husband's last name. Because my last name is Best. Thank you, Emily Best. Thank you very much. So apparently sparrows imprint on their caretakers. My friend found a baby, I mean like a moment out of the egg baby baby, on the ground. He took care of it and now he is dad. I'm his uncle, ladies and gentlemen. Meet Bird. Ah, Burb. You're so cute. Mom paints face to match daughter's facial birthmark to be just as beautiful as her. 
If anybody in school bullies this girl, let me know. I will personally go and beat them up. Blind man and his omelette's best friend planted over 10,000 trees in China. I am his hands, he is my eyes. If this is not best friend goals, then I don't know what is. My god. This is fantastic, and look at the smile on both their faces. We said Black Lives Matter. Never said only Black Lives Matter. We know all lives matter. We just need your help. With hashtag Black Lives Matter for Black Lives are in danger. This is true. This is what it really means, everybody. My little sister keeps telling us she wants to be a boy, so my parents went out and bought her boy clothes, and look how happy she is. There's no such thing as boy or girl clothes, but I, I appreciate this 100%. Heck, I wore a dress or two when I was little, and I'm... And I'm this way. <laughs> okay, I don't care if this is their lunch break. Let those damn garbage men have a good time. This is amazing. During her battle with cancer and after she beat it. Hey, man, she went from beautiful to just as beautiful. Keep it up, girl. Keep it up. And by the way, I really like your hair. Sorry for the inconvenience. We are trying to change the world. Damn straight, brother. Keep trying to change the world. Wife shares hilarious selfie of husband fainting during childbirth. <laughs> what can I say? Not all men are as strong as women. Community coming together to clean up South Minneapolis. Of course, the media Video won't show you this part though. No, they really didn't, but look at how many retweets and likes this got, baby. Woo! Internet for the win. I work with a guy from Mexico who doesn't speak a lot of English. A Canadian goose made a nest by one of the paddock gates and hissed at him while he was putting horses out. He comes back to us and says, I do not like the cobra chicken. <laughs> I don't like the cobra chicken. <laughs> Dude, I lived out a pond with a bunch of Canadian geese. Those things are dicks, and I appreciate this. Cobra chicken for the win. For 13 years, we pretended to be cousins so we could rent a home together. We were told, keep curtains drawn so neighbors don't know what you are. We recently bought our home. Now we voluntarily tell neighbors we are partners. It's time LGBTQ families are normalized too. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for doing your part. The only news I need. Quadruplets, a 1 in 180 million story. A cow has apparently defined great odds and given birth to four calves that have been named Eeny, Meeny, Miny, and Moo. Uh, I hope Moo's the one at the end, because look at his little black spot on his head. He's like, oh, look at me. I'm Moo, baby. I pose for the photos. Racism isn't born. It is taught. This is true. This is true. Trump lover, Clinton lover, none of the above are black, white, red, brown, or some other color. Each woman is a sister here and every man a brother. Let us put our judgments down and love one another. Damn, damn, that not only did that rhyme, but it made me feel good. God does not accept homosexuals, so we don't either. One core six. Fun fact, me in the white shorts. Mmm. Fun fact, me in the gray shorts kissing the cutest boy in the world. Ah, uh, r slash mad lads, and it's on r slash wholesome. Gosh darn, I love this. A deer entered one of the shops in Colorado. The shop owner gave him some chocolate biscuits and chocolate. He came out of the store and returned after a half an hour with all his family members. <laughs> Look, he's like, hello, I would like some chocolate, please. Yes, I have brought my family for more chocolate, please. Now hand it over. The people of Derry, Northern Ireland, in silent protest for George Floyd and the countless others killed through police brutality. We hear you and we stand with you. Hey, and they're standing six feet apart. They're doing it right, unlike us here in America. After a woman was taken to the hospital with hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, two policemen stayed behind to prepare dinner for the five kids who were still in the house. Afterwards, they also did the dishes. Endev Neverland, uh, Endoven Netherlands. You know, this is why police from different countries are just better, man. They just do stuff like this versus our police who do bad things. This man took over 1,000 children of fallen soldiers to Disneyland free of charge. Dude, how did you get the money for that? And thank you for making those kids' lives. Or day, at least. You, you brought joy into their life. I volunteer for a dog rescue. We love seeing updates of their dogs in their new homes. This one made me smile. It's a little baby Godzilla with a little baby doggy Godzilla. Hey, man, that dog looks cute in his little outfit. So apparently in Australia, the dolphins are used to people visiting them. They seem to be missing people and have been coming to shore bringing coral to people as an offering. Dude, if a dolphin brought me coral, I'd be out there every day. He's like, hey, I missed your bud. Here's some coral. I think it's pretty. Here you go. Doodlebug is an orphaned baby kangaroo that was found abandoned on the side of the road when he walked up to a human, held out his arms, and asked to be picked up. His rescue later gave him a teddy bear, and he wouldn't stop hugging it. Please tell me Doodlebug is still alive and still hugging that bear. That would be so cute. 
I almost lost it at the Disney store today. Why? I watched her father very firmly tell his little boy, no, you can't have this Rapunzel dress. The boy was near tears until his dad continued, that one's way too small. Let's find your size. Eventually, the little boy decided against the dress and, with his dad's blessing, picked out a tiara instead because it's better for every day. Damn straight is better for every day. Tiaras are life. Some lucky photographer in California captured a hummingbird sharing a water fountain with four bumblebees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. What's that? You want some of our uh, watery honey? Here you go, Mr. Hummingbird. Thanks, guys. Elephants' brains react to humans the same way that humans' brains react to puppies. They think we are cute. My life has had no greater joy than knowing elephants think I'm cute. Hey there, you're a cute little human, man, if I pet you. It's not white versus black, it's everybody versus racist. You know what? Rome Alone 2, damn straight. While watching a movie with a boyfriend family, I fell asleep. In the silence of the film, I passed gas so loudly it woke me up. Everyone heard it. That young man claimed the fart is his own. That's when I know I loved him. <laughs> I married him. Today we celebrate 15 years together. <laughs> I don't know, man. A fart is the reason you got married, and I, I appreciate that. I am Tony with an I, just the one, and I've recently been diagnosed with cancer for the third time. This time it's unlikely to be incurable, so I am making preparations to die at 30. Ask me anything. What is your favorite flower? I was planning on doing some gardening, and I'd like to plant something in your honor. Also, can you find my cat Fizzgig and tell her she was a very good girl and we miss her thanks i will pet all the animals i can if this is a possibility that will be a huge silver lining on everything and something i will look forward to my favorite flowers are roses or lilies probably but i love most flowers if you would like to plant something for me then plant something for the bees please they need them more than i oh my god this dude <sighs> he's come to grips with dying and that's sad but He's even thinking on the bees over himself. Justice for George Floyd. Oh, you know what? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, my dudes. Dad builds a stage right on his driveway to host college graduation for his daughter. Holy crap, dude. Thank you so much. Like, I didn't go to my graduation at a choice, but I know people who are devastated they can't go. And this right here, this is a good thing. I didn't fight for this country to watch my black brothers, sisters be murdered in the streets. Thank you. But uh, maybe put on a mask, but thank you. Oh, look at the little horsey. He goes sit. He's like, I sit and I look still majestic AF, girl. Fun family story. When my aunt was marrying her wife, everyone was really excited, but also dreading it because my aunt is known for her insanely long speeches, so everyone knew her vows would be like nine hours long, so when it came time for her to say her vows, she had a crap ton of cue cards in her hands and even her wife started groaning and my aunt took a deep inhale and then unraveled all the cue cards which were taped together and they all just read HOT DAMN in giant letters and those were my aunt's vows. Today on things that didn't happen, do really people believe this bullcrap? Sure, this is totally true. And now since I officially have permission to use this photo, HOT DAMN! Get fricked everybody, get fricked. Ah, that's what I like to see. A man in uniform being a good damn person. You know, forget those police. I'm focusing on the hug and the skateboard. Dude, you, you guys are doing what's right. Thank you so much. Hug in the face of adversity. An 87-year-old woman called the police emergency number in Florence, Italy, saying she was alone and hungry. This was the result. Oh my god, that is fantastic. And who left her alone and hungry? What kind of monsters are you people? She's just a sweet old lady. Johnny Depp always travels with his Captain Jack Sparrow costume to make impromptu visits to sick kids in hospitals. And I'm so glad this man was cleared of everything that was claimed about him and we found out it was actually his wife being a terrible person. Thank you for being a bright person in my life, Johnny. Brilliant Black Minds gave me a shot in Hollywood when none of the white guys thought I could connect or be a leading man. I got my first starring role, Ace Ventura, because of Living Color. Forever grateful. Damn, Jim Carrey. This is why you rock, dude. God bless Jim Carrey. Justice for George. Damn straight, brother. The Karens doing their part to stop the violence. Karen's against police brutality. I'd like to speak to the manager of systematic racism, please. She went from Karen to Karen. Damn straight she did. So last night at like 2 in the morning, my boyfriend, who thought I was asleep, rolled over, kissed my forehead, and whispered in the mirror, I love you so much, I'm never going to leave you, I promise. Excuse me while I cry. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go take a cry before I get back to narrations. Love it when they do that. Oh, it's the little cute animal straight legs step like, uh, straighten my stuff, straighten my stuff. I got to see my fiance today after two months of being separated by lockdown. Why do you gotta make me happy, photos? <laughs> How did you enslave your human? I did not. 
then why does he provide you for every need? Because he loves me. But why does he love you? Because I love him. And I'm a cute little doggy. My mom did her own march since none of her friends wanted to join her. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, old lady. 10 out of 10. You better have been with her and not just there to take one photo. My parents in 1975 and again in 2020. They've been married and playing music together for over 45 years now. How is her hairstyle not changed? I love that. And neither is his really. Dude, you two are relationship goals. Hell yeah. My best friend and I got tattoos to celebrate 20 years of friendship. Meet Maurice. He likes to peek out from under my sweatshirt to make sure I'm having a good day. If I ever get a tattoo... You've convinced me to do something like this. Thank you. It says, stop me if you need medical advice. This is in Yemen. Dude, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a good person. Last night, my Uber driver gave me a menu on what kind of ride I wanted. Hello, George the Uber driver. Ride type menu. This stand-up. I tell you about things that are funny, to me at least, from prison stories to other poor life choices I've made. Don't get a lover's name tattooed on you ever. The silent ride. Pretty self-explanatory. The therapy ride. Got something on your mind? Let me help take it off. Talk to me. Talk to me. The creepy ride. I don't say anything. I just look at you from time to time in the rearview mirror. All creepy like. The rude ride. I be as rude as possible. George, I pray one day if I ever take Uber, you are my driver. You put a smile on my face, my dude. In my experience, you will never find a group of folks more open and accepting than metalheads. A true metalhead is always looking to share their love of metal with anyone. They don't care about your skin color, religion, or political allegiance. All metalheads are outcasts at one point or another and know how crappy that is. A true metalhead picks you up when you slip in the mosh pit. They make you crash on their couch instead of letting you drive home when you've had too many. They check up on you when you go radio silent. They celebrate your accomplishments and console you in your defeats. When you've got a metalhead for a friend, you've got a friend for life. I can vouch for this. I'm in a pretty crappy metal band and we were lucky enough two years ago or three years ago to open up for, be like the opening, opening act for a band called Baby Metal on their first US tour. And let me tell you, we got applauded and we kind of suck, but these big gruff metalheads were banging their heads to Baby Metal. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Metalheads for life, my dude. So, I work at a photo lab, and an elderly woman came up to pay, and after each transaction, I have to ask, can I help you find anything else? She responded with, a million bucks. The elderly man behind her said, ma'am, if you want a million bucks, just look in the mirror. Her jaw dropped, and she was completely smitten. Oh, thank you, buddy. Recently, I logged into my old Minecraft account and found that the server I played on with my friends was still active. I had last played it hmm, five years ago and wanted to see if my builds were still there. I checked and they were still untouched. Then I looked around the map and saw the build I forgot about. It was a statue, me and my Minecraft bestie, build of us out of stone. I had forgotten about it and almost cried. I wanted to see if my friend was still on his old Facebook account and sent a message. He responded. I found out that he had kids now and he is 28 now. I saw that he lived only an hour's drive away. We decided to meet up again after losing touch with each other. I got to meet his kids and his wife and his Shiva. He got to meet my wife as well and now we frequently hang out. I never would have imagined that logging into my old account would have led to that. <laughs> Damn, Minecraft. Saving and building friendships for years, man. I gave my three-year-old three M&Ms to have. Without rhyme or reason, she turned around and gave one to her grandmother and one to me. I've done a lot of things wrong in my life, but I will tell you, I must be doing something right here. Damn, dude, that is some solid parenting. I wouldn't even do this. Neither would any of my family members. My mom and dad were T-boned and their truck was totaled. This is them with the newest car they've ever owned. Damn. Damn, if this is after the T-bone, that smile they've had, that makes me fantastic. In 2017, a dog named Odin refused to leave his flock of goats behind during the California Tubbs fire, and his owner fled to safety. Days later, the owners came back to their property to find Odin survive and managed to keep all the goats alive. The goats. Odin is with us, and he's a good boy. The Redditor who sent me a fancy fountain pen for getting my GED. Thank you so much, Nomad73. It made my day. Damn, dude, when do I get one of these for getting my GED? Dang. You know, you don't need to be a cat to enjoy a good sunspot. I saw this beautiful man holding the phone with both hands looking at the screen smiling. I was drawn by his joy and asked for a photo. He agreed telling me he was talking to his wife back home. I asked if it was a video call. He said no, but I see your name on the screen. Oh my god, Jesus, that's so nice, it hurts. 
I'm a Michigan photographer who attended a protest yesterday. While taking photos, these two asked if they could try. I showed them how the camera worked and held on the strap in case it was too heavy. These are their images. Dude, holy crap, those are some fantastic images, actually. Those kids got talent. Dear Flat Four, thank you for playing the piano so beautifully. It has given us a great deal of peace at this stressful COVID time. Best regards, Flat Two. On oh, the game, Cretchy Bits and Dinky Deckers. I don't know what those are, but I'm glad you got them. A kid in my school learned that my wife and I are having a baby and used her pocket money to buy us this. Oh boy, kids, kids are the purest form, unless they're corrupted by adults, man. And police brutality. Thank you for finally doing- And look, none of the other cops are like really engaging. These two are the two standouts and I love you for that. This sweet little boy has been having a hard time since his pop passed away. He's been praying for a little stuffy of pop that he can carry around with him. He chose this photo and requested that his pop would be holding a fish. I love what I do and I love that it matters. And I love it too. Left, me, completely broken, 93 pounds, living on the streets, living in fear, in pain, addicted to meth and heroin, and ready for my life to finally end. I had indicardus twice from using and had a hole in my heart. My mom took that picture when she went to rescue me. Right? I took this picture tonight. Didn't care about the angles, just wanted to show my happiness. Nine months clean. I fought hard for months in the hospital, survived heart surgery, gained 40 pounds, got a place to live, and I have my family and my two cats that help me. I posted the before pic a lot, but my story is important. Recovery is possible, and it is worth it. Girl, you are wonderful. Yes, yes she is. Ah, this is a powerful photo. Again. Racism and taught. It's not nature. It's taught. He's extremely proud of his painting. I'm a good boy. I did a Van Gogh. Our friend lives above a punk bar and sent us the pic of her dog and the regulars. Hell yeah, dude. Everyone can love a good boy. You know what? Those Crocs are just cool, man. Metal heads forever. Who are you guys? We're free Americans. Cops are a lot less likely to try and tread on people rights when there are other armed Americans with them. So we figured it's about damn time some heavily armed redneck stood with fellow citizens. I figured before there were cops, there were just Americans. So bottom line, just for Floyd, and I hope they stop looting at some point. Nah, that, that, that's a good message. My parents left Afghanistan when I was less than a month old, seeking refugee in the Netherlands. They moved from one country to another to another so that their children could get the education they never received. I worked three jobs, freshman fall, my mental health tumbling alongside my GPA. I've delivered laundry, flipped burgers, cleaned dorms, stock shelves, ushered for events, I am sick at, I am, sorry if I mispronounced that, I am Afghan, I am a refugee, I am first gen student, and from today, I am a graduate of Harvard. Hell yeah, dude, hell yeah. Please don't talk to me, I have no self control and will talk to you for two hours and get no work done. Dude, same, I need one of these. I can't believe I'm 66 and still protesting this crap. Neither can I, dude. Neither can I. Lady Gaga took a photo with me and gave money to a homeless man. He said, but I smell and she, don't worry, I smell too. Damn, Lady Gaga, I appreciate you. Aw, look at the little turtle. I hope it's a real turtle, but even if it's not, it's happy. Hello, Skyrider just wanted to give you all a big old smiley face today. A while ago, I posted a picture of my son in the hospital smiling at me after a scary situation. Yesterday, he came home 155 days after being born. Hell yeah! My grandpa passed away today. Last night, all he wanted to do was to have one last beer with his sons. Damn. One last cold one with the boys. Best feeling ever. My client had a hole in the side of the house. I was supposed to fill it, aka repair it. I got up on the ladder 12 feet up and knocked to see if anyone was home. Silence came, from the reply, from the hole in the house. So I inserted the foam tube and felt something soft make contact with the end of the tube. Then out came a very upset house barrel and slammed it in my face. I nearly died today. Then she flew over to the nearest tree branch, obviously upset that I didn't fall to my death. So I stuck the corner of my phone in the hole and snapped a video. Discovered this, five eggs. Told the client I can't fill the hole. We need to wait for the eggs to hatch and for them to leave the nest. Then I can fill the hole. So in order to keep rain from getting in the hole, I did this. <laughs> That's just so sweet, it kinda hurts, but God bless you, dude. During the protest in my country, people helped stray dogs that got caught in the middle of the attack with tear gas, took them to safe place, and cleaned them. 
Aw, the pupper looks so happy to be helped. The guy next to me on the train was watching The Office, so naturally, I not so subtly watched along. He noticed me watching with him and turned on the subtitles. I hope he knows that I would die for him, to be honest. I would have too. I just saw a Reddit post by someone with extreme anxiety asking how to order a sandwich at Subway because they're never tried it. And someone replied and wrote out step-by-step -step instructions without being snarky or judgmental, and it's the kind of sweetest thing I've seen in a month. Damn. Damn. Bottom ranked sumo wrestler bursts into tears after winning first championship. Dude, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I respect that. With love from Syria, we support and sympathize with people suffering police brutality in the US. We surely know how it feels. Thank you. Aww. It's not safe to bring your kid to a protest, but I appreciate the little sign he made. My cat ripped open his favorite toy. This is my grandma sewing it back together. Look, the cat's just patiently waiting like, I want my toy, please fix it. I didn't mean to kill Mr. Sprinkles. Every time the Andre Hopkins scores, sorry if I mispronounced that, he finds his mom who lost her sight 17 years ago and gives her the touchdown ball, one of the best traditions in sports. Hell yeah, dude, stop making me smile. Hey, Twitter, what's up? Tweeting from Earth, what's up with you? Nice, we heart Earth, just look at it. How's the Wi-Fi up there? And also, what's your favorite space snack? Wi-Fi is pretty decent. Some of our NASA astronauts can tweet from up there. Favorite snack? Lunch meat. So, Mars? Avi, our NASA Persevere rover is launching there in July. Watch with us. It's a date. NASA. Always oh, give me a little heart space. I love you, NASA. Uncle, what are you doing during the lockdown? I'm learning to play piano on you. I build a gateway to the imagination in my backyard. <laughs> Damn. Since you all love my Uncle David so much, here he is with his husband, my other Uncle David, who makes an amazing butterscotch raspberry pudding. Your Uncle David is married to your Uncle David and they are both wearing roughly the same flannel plaid shirt and they both have wonderful shaggy white hair and it is awesome! It is the same shirt. They've been wearing matching outfits since the 90s so they just buy everything in doubles. That is astounding. How can such lovely people exist in this grim world? And we need more of them, damn it! After two years of steady workout, I can finally wear an undershirt around the house without being overwhelmed with shame. I am smiling under the mask, I swear. Hell yeah, do it as someone who's lost over 80 pounds himself, I respect you. Today my wife is officially under 200 pounds and I was finally able to do a chin up for the first time in my life. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate weight loss so much as I was very heavy myself. Aww. I've been drawing grumpy animals every day for over 100 days, and this week, finally my dream came true, and my book, 100 Grumpy Animals, was published all around the world. Cheers. Once I get my crap together, it's over for you, bitch. What's for lunch? Let me take a wild freaking guess. This man donated bags of flour to the people in need. Since it's just a kilogram, only the poorest people came to take it. But he had hidden 15,000 rupees, around 200 US dollars, inside of them. So the money went to those who really needed it. That guy is a true champ. This man left his 40-year-long career in another airline to join Air Asia and fly as a junior, just so he could fly with his two pilot daughters. He wants to spend his remaining years as a pilot by his daughter's sides. You go, Dad! My husband and I are surprising our six-year-old by taking him to Disney for his birthday tomorrow. We've been in the car for four-plus hours and he still thinks we're on our way home from school. He keeps saying, looks like we're almost home. <laughs> Bless his heart. Explain your smallness. M nugget And my favorite undrafted free agent story ever. Negotiated with player directly. No agent. Told him we had a deal. Bonus would be $1,000. He said, no joke. Mr. Brandt, I only have $200 now, but I promise I'll bring the rest when I get there. I said, no, no. We pay you. All right, you shook his hand. Now you give that big boy a kiss. <laughs> Oh, look at that cute chubby little face. Also, wow, those eyes. A father held on to his baby as he ran on stage to dance ballet with his daughter after she suffered from stage fright during a performance. Again, platinum level dad. Mama Bear's just teaching him how to look both ways before you cross. They smile together and they roar together. There's something so pleasing to me about a big household animal with a bunch of tiny ones. After losing their own child, this couple now throws birthday parties for less fortunate kids. Good on you guys. The baby's buckled in. <laughs> <laughs> he still probably shouldn't be sitting in the front seat because he's not grown-ups, but still. In Turkey, a man has been going around dressed like Superman. He drives around in a beetle, buys milk and groceries for the elderly, and delivers it to their doorsteps. When he was asked why, he said, My superpower is doing good for the neighborhood. Now that's a true friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Eating breakfast at a small cafe when this little guy hopped on the table. I will take 40. Please. 
This is absolutely unbelievable to me. Holy cow, man. I can't even draw a stick figure without looking like an idiot. This girl was paid $1,000 to shave her head. She donated the money to cancer research and gave away her hair to make wigs for cancer patients. I can safely say she's stronger than me. I feel like I'm getting hit with a real Care Bear stare right now. I feel like this is gonna look pretty horrifying when the two glasses inevitably have to come apart. Here's a picture of my cat no one asked for. That is absolutely what I asked for. Thank you. Same. I don't need to ask for a picture of a cat directly. Just give them to me, please. There was a cat. Long ago, there was a cat who swallowed a ball of yarn. And when the cat had kittens, they all had sweaters on. Cute! <laughs> it is. It's really cute. This woman's husband might not be able to be with her during chemo treatments, but that won't stop him from supporting her. Where there's a will, there's one hell of a husband. Got drunk, cut off all my hair, and sent it to charity. Honestly, it does you really well, my friend. Why are you giving me that look? What are you up to, huh? Oh, what a beautiful street. How much you want to bet the one one block over is absolutely horrifying. I watched a girl in a sundress kiss another girl on a park bench, and just as the sunlight spilled perfectly onto both of their hair, I thought to myself how bravely beautiful it is that sometimes the sea wants the city, even when it has been told its entire life it was meant for the shore. Very cheesy, but I'm here for it, Poindexter. A little Easter egg in the circuit board of a guitar pedal. May the music passing through this device somehow help to bring just a little more peace to this troubled world. The clover is finally grown enough for her to munch on again. Absolute decadence. Imagine a kindly giant of unknown species and origin just picking you up and carefully placing you in a pile of chicken nuggets. All right, I'm imagining it. And and I'm having the greatest moment of my life. The woman who can command me hasn't been born yet. Four years later. <laughs> this veterinarian has a comfort dog assistant that lets sick dogs know everything will be alright. Everyone liked that. That's correct. Everyone. You came to the wrong neighborhood, you son of a bitch. This bunny was born without ears, so its owner decided to make it some. <laughs> God! Dang, that's impressive. God, why is everybody more talented than me? My sister and brother-in-law gave my wife and I a date night wallet filled with gift cards for local dates. Best wedding gift to give if you can. It's actually a really clever idea. Pandemic, rising unemployment, looming food shortage, crumbling social safety net, my 2020 worries, my daughter smiled at me for the first time, my 2020 joys, you gotta take what you can. Nice choice, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and it looks like almost every single one ever written. Awesome. There's a dog behind you. What does he look like? Yeah, that's about right. Leo's an Oscar winner for a reason. Look at this representation of my canine friend here. There's just something about elephants. Despite their massive size, they're incredibly cute. Yes, I know these ones aren't massive, but you get what I mean. When someone says that they had to abandon their pets because they moved, maybe for a new job in a new city, show them the example of this Syrian family, who escaped from the war and have traveled more than 1,000 miles as refugees with their cat. This family lost nearly everything in war and had to move and leave everything behind, but they did not leave their precious cat. He's part of our family, they revealed. As simple as that. You have no excuse. Left my dog at my grandma's house for some days. Some days? Jesus! Your dog's not a heckin' chonker, he's going to freaking die. I was walking into the unit today and I was telling two of my coworkers that were walking with me that I have never dreaded coming to work more than I have today. And as soon as I walked through the door, one of the patients got excited and said, there's my favorite nurse. Silver linings. Again, take what you can. Ah, oh, these are really cool. I'll take every single one you have in stock, please. Media. Video games cause violence. Meanwhile, Final Fantasy players hold online funeral for gamer killed by coronavirus. Remember kids, everything is a black and white issue. The first bath with mom. How's mom not wet? Did she not take a bath too? Come on, mom's gotta bathe as well, guys. How is it that she caught her first fish, but I've been fishing like a hundred times and I've never caught anything? What am I good for? You gotta be more conservative with the bubble bath, kids. Okay, she is the queen. The queen of the entire yard. Do her bidding. Got flowers from my girlfriend. This was my first time ever receiving flowers in my life. I was just embracing them and my mom caught me so she wanted to do a photo shoot. Aww. This just goes to show, don't ever make her mad, cause she could kill you really fast. 
On this table every day at 11 a.m., free lunch for anyone who needs it. Made with love by a neighborhood mom. Dang, mom, thank you! Have a nice day. Sincerely, Gary. This message is approved by my wife, Helen. They seem like a nice couple. My daughter is a big Studio Ghibli fan. Do you think she'll notice my tie as I walk her down the aisle this weekend? If she doesn't, she doesn't deserve you. This is Ted. He went on his first boat ride today. Hopes you like his giraffe vest. He picked it out himself. 13 out of 10. Ted, you're a genius. Why do dogs float in water? Because they're good boys. <laughs> as I was saying goodbye, my dog did this. I hope you guys hugged for like 45 minutes minimum. Told my granddad I was taking him out for lunch. My dad just phoned him and he said he's been up and showered since 7 a.m. all ready for our lunch date. That's because he loves you. Talk to your grandparents more, people. Okay, come on. Pictures of foxes is just straight cheating at this point. There's the classic head tilt. Gets me every time. I don't care what anyone says about these guys. They're insanely majestic and beautiful. I know what this was cut out for, but... It still seems kind of funny just chopping someone's face out of a photo of any kind. Dude, they're at home all day. It's heckin' amazing. Dude, I love the Joe Rogan experience. A 13-year-old boy opened a hot dog stand in front of his house in Minnesota, and someone complained to the health department. Instead of shutting him down, the inspectors helped him bring his stand up to code and paid the $87 fee for his permit out of their own pockets. The teen's business took off, and he's been selling up to 150 hot dogs a day. Awesome Kid 1, Karen 0. A girl in my sorority once ran across campus to bring me a battery for my insulin pump because I was in lab, and today she pulled out a handful of batteries and said she carries them around just in case I need one, and it's honestly the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. After needing 13 liters of blood for a surgery at the age of 13, James Harrison pledged to donate blood once he turned 18. After discovering that his blood contained a rare antigen which cures racist disease, Disease, James Harrison for six decades donated his blood and saved the lives of over 2.4 million babies. This picture is of his last blood donation. He's surrounded by mothers whose babies he helped save. True legend. You really think your job is tough? I'm sure you're right. Most jobs have difficult aspects to them. Kudos to you for sticking with it. Aw, thank you. We were playing catch and look what he brought back. Oh my god, it's Labrador. <laughs> well, that's it. You're never getting up again. Is that dog made of lettuce? It- it's weird how normal it looks. Do not remove stick. This is for the lizards to get out. How thoughtful. Breaking news. Local fox goes... <laughs> A cat and a lowercase cat. Don't you ever talk to me or my lowercase son ever again. Kittens don't care if you're a tough marine. To them, you're daddy. No, oh, no, you shouldn't have said that. You ruined it. My daughter and her neighbor friend spend a lot of the day sitting six feet away from the sidewalk, shouting compliments at strangers who walk by. It's the right mood for these times. Just overheard. Your shirt matches your dog and I like that about you. What are you up to? Hey, what are you up to tonight? Babysitting? How is it? Uh, apparently going very well. It's movie night with all the kids. Just a couple of best buds laying on the couch. Nothing to see here. Do you guys know any neckbeards that you actually like? I lived with an amazing neckbeard. Kind and friendly. Just loved computers, coding, and anime. He was very friendly to people he met, but he was apprehensive to strangers. Extreme social anxiety and depression basically made him a shut-in, but he was very helpful to me as a friend and a confidant. I haven't talked to him in months. I think I'm literally going to call him right now. And how did it go? We have plans to get sushi tomorrow. That's pretty wholesome. Have fun. Although, maybe don't call him a neckbeard anymore? <laughs> Nobody is in danger. However, you can pull the lever to make the train get closer just so you can wave at all the people. Nah, I'm good. I haven't had my coffee yet. 20 years later and I just became a nurse at the same hospital I survived cancer in. Woo! You go! <clears throat> Nope. I'd like to use my card. Leave me the frick alone card. Good for one day off from life. Yikes. Get some rest. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Today, my five-year-old laughed at this painting in the middle of a museum for like six minutes. <laughs> I can see why. Now everyone remembers doctors, nurses, pharmacists, and all other health officials. But no one cares about IT guys who work 24-7 to keep everyone connected. It's just one of those jobs where if you do it right, nobody notices you're there. And I think, speaking from experience, IT guys kind of like that. My girl wanted a piggyback picture on the beach and a random biker watching the sunset said he wanted one too. <laughs>
So the police and fire station are right next to my library, which is a Pokemon gym and Pokestop. The cops are blue team and the firefighters are red, and they're constantly fighting over the gym. I found out because I was adding a Pokemon to the gym, and some cops noticed me playing, and they asked me what team I was on, and I told them blue. And they were like, dang right, and told me about the situation. <laughs> this little girl thought a bride she saw on the street was the princess from her book. I'm crying. She is a princess! What do you mean thought? My parents are having a little party downstairs, watching a movie and eating some crisps, and I'm studying. My dad just came over to my room with these and said, since you can't come over to the party, the party has come to you. It's so sweet. I was honestly tempted to procrastinate, but now I'm back on track. Snack food and soda? Great motivator! A punk stops during a gay pride parade to allow a mesmerized child to touch his jacket spikes. You just can't go judging books by the cover. Please, can you write a silly joke on the pizza? My six-year-old loves jokes and is feeling unwell. What's a dog's favorite pizza? Pepperoni! I came to quarantine with you. It's okay? It's very okay. Come on in, though. There's some dishes that need to be done, and you could probably get started on those while I start on the bathroom. Quest? I'm sorry, dear. I don't have any quests for you. Quest? I mean, is that a dragon? Quest! <laughs> A grieving dad designed this tombstone of his paralyzed from birth son climbing out of his wheelchair and reaching for the sky. Wife remarries her husband as she falls in love with him again after losing her memory. You did it, you crazy son of a bitch. You did it! Redditors who have actually gotten married, how did you get your spouse's ring size without making them get suspicious? No joke, I felt the fingers and held the hands of co-workers and friends until I got to one that felt like my wife's and asked what size they were. I've been holding my wife's hand for so many years, it's almost a muscle memory kind of feeling. Sure as sh I was spot on. That is incredibly clever, good on you! Local rock in great mood today! Same rock, same. Japanese fan tried to talk in Portuguese and the crowd laughed. Ronaldo stood up for him saying you should be happy because he's trying very hard. It's good. It's actually incredibly impressive. Take what you need, leave what you can, and please don't forget to sanitize your hands. A science teacher from rural Kenya who donates most of his salary to help poorer students has been crowned the world's best teacher and awarded a $1 million prize, beating 10,000 nominations from 179 countries. It's a mark of a true man. Hey, it's a water puppy! Come here, give me a kiss. Seven-year-old me waiting for my dad to finish his call from work to tell him that I love him. <laughs> You have now entered the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Silly Walks. Commence silly walking immediately. Well, at least this guy's following the rules. To sister, love brother. Okay, that's a pretty sick Sonic, though. I never knew I needed a triple-decker bunk bed for my cats until now. Also, that reminds me, I need cats. <laughs> me when the cameraman says cheese. <laughs> Okay, that flower's gotta smell real good. <laughs> a rare sighting of the North American snow loaf. Quick, bring it inside and thaw it out. Now this is a responsible social gathering. Can't wait for this to be how we have to do it until we all die. Anybody that doesn't agree that rats and mice are cute can just shut up, honestly. I don't care about your opinion. Hey, uh, buddy, buddy, that's your own tail. You know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. You're good. You do you, man. All right, now that is a really cool idea. Hello, I am Japanese. Your singing voice is very beautiful. I have subscribed to you because I like you. I will support you. Good luck. Gosh, how come I never got a comment that nice on any of my YouTube videos? Thank the ones who feed you. Now that is a job that's underrepresented in thanking the heroes of this whole ordeal. I'm this old. Oh, <laughs> I've owned like seven of these. I always seem to lose at least all of them. No, I lose all of the tips. I have finally narrowed it down to a few possible reasons the human is home all the time now. Number four, can't stand being away from me. Number C, loves me so much. Letter one, my presence is a gift. You're not incorrect at all, dog. You're not. It's all true. The Queen promotes Captain Tom Moore to honorary colonel on his 100th birthday. You know, honestly, with all that man's done, why not just give him the country, honestly? Even in the darkest days, sometimes there's still hope. Oh my god, that poor baby has a thousand yard stare. My wife convinced me to stop at the Humane Society to see what the adoption process was like. Long story short, we ended up leaving with these two. Meet Tucker and Mike. 
Uh, can I borrow Tucker and Mike for a little while? Maybe like 12 years? Oh, all right. It's a little strange having someone smile at me like that. Kinda wish it happened more often. Well, oh, father and son have swapped eyes. My son is bi, I don't ask why. My mother is straight, but she don't hate. My uncle and grandma on their way to a pride parade in the 1980s. Have you felt unsafe on campus? Discriminated against? Threatened? Afraid to walk around campus? We will walk with you. Now those two are the real nice guys. Oh my god, it's her. It's America's favorite male woman. Gosh! I really hope to continue to see more of her. Going to grandparents' house. Leaving grandparents' house. Oh man, I never had that experience growing up. A Victorian couple trying not to laugh while getting their portraits done. I've always greatly enjoyed this set of images just because it really brings a lot of humanity to a time period that always looks so stoic. Like everyone was a statue. Not these two though. Someday my son, all you see will be yours. Huh, man with dogs in his pockets walking his duck, which has shoes on. Can't tell if this is a Portland thing or a Seattle thing. September 9th, 2018 versus September 9th, 2019. I like how he's happy in both. That 10 signs you're doing well in life. You have a roof over your head. You ate today. You have a good heart. You wish good for others. You have clean water. Someone cares for you. You strive to be better. You have clean clothes. You have a dream. You're breathing. Be thankful for the little things, for they're the most important. <laughs> Oh, he does not look like he's having a great time in that left image. Some heroes wear hard hats. Indiana construction worker Jason Haney hit a giant Where's Waldo cutout all over his work site for the children in a nearby hospital to find. Once he received word that they'd found him, he moved Waldo to a new location so they could start looking for him again. Where's Waldo? More like, where's my tissues? Sorry, wrong number. No worries. Thanks anyway. No, 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 no. That was the right number. Let's talk. Customer with a full shopping cart in front of me. You go first. Me with only two items. That's how you know that person is secretly a saint.